lovely Sunday morning. It's a little bit overcast here, but quite bright out there. We're just looking at on the window. How's everybody doing? Let me know. Has the time change affected you? I have I have made sure like I sat down for eight o'clock and I, I was like so good. And then a last minute I was still rushing about and, and sort of rushing downstairs and trying to sort of get ready. Um it was um it always throws me every single time. I like the autumn one. <laughs> Let me get an extra hour in bed. <laughs> Can we just keep doing the autumn <laughs> one and not the spring one? Um Good morning, Colin Morning. Good morning, everybody uh, who is joining us. So today I got a very special guest again. Cause she's back. Uh, bless her. Um, we doing something like we were talking about Easter and if we can do something for Easter, but we want to make something like a nice jewelry for Easter. So what you can wear, something a little bit more, I guess, upmarket, something a little bit more. Um, no, actually, it's quite easy to make. <laughs> it's not making at all. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce my guest today. We have got the lovely Natalie. That, that way, I always get this wrong. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me back. Um, weather's not as nice here as it sounds like it is by yours. It's raining, it's miserable. Um, but this is a little bit of spring bling to get us in the mood for warmer weathers to come hopefully oh bless well i think it's gonna rain here later on as well obviously we see. We see um just looking at looking this the sun is still there so that that's what's getting the sun is still there with the, behind the cloud carol's saying it's cloudy in sad devon as well so not, it might be so whole uk wise but did, did they say did i heard that right that tomorrow they promised well they're not promised us they predicted us 18 degrees <laughs> i was like I've heard Tuesday we might be having a heat wave, yeah. It's Tuesday, well, yeah. Believe so it when I see it. I'm dying to get my flip flops out, so maybe Tuesday I can get <laughs> I can get you out and have a laugh in the garden and then come back in. <laughs> <laughs> right, so tell us what we're gonna be making today. Um well we had a little conversation, didn't we? God, it seems like forever ago now, um, about you know, different projects that we could come up with and make. Um and you suggested like a nest style ring and I thought I'll take that literally um, and we'll look at an actual like bird's nest. So um, the pendant is what I'll be showing you today, but it's really versatile. Um, you can make it into E-rings, you could make it into adjustable ring if you wanted. Um, they're really straightforward to use. You need some basic tools, but it's mainly shaped with your hands. Um, and the wonderful thing about it is you don't have to be too neat to difficult or intricate weaves with it. Um, you know, it's meant to look natural and nature um, can be a little bit unstructured sometimes. So, um, yeah, it's a really easy make and it looks really pretty, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I like remember we went backwards and forwards a little bit that like, shall we do a ring? Shall we do a um, pendant? Shall we do earrings? What shall we do? And, and Natalie favoured the rings. I favoured the, favoured the pendants um, because like when I'm crafting and doing a lot of things, like I don't really like to wear my rings because they kept catching on things. And especially this one, what we're going to do, like like it would like stand up. So it's only good to when you like go out or you go somewhere where you can show off your lovely ring. So I was like, well, I'm not really going anywhere at the moment, but a pendant I can wear <laughs> because that, that can just sit there on my neck and um, and it doesn't bother me and I can do my crafting. So what we did today is because Natalie's internet connection is unfortunately is not as great. Mm, I know. So we pre prepared a video. So she really recorded a little video for us how to make it we're gonna go into the video we're still gonna be there with you and we, we can still sort of uh, talk you through it what we're doing but um it's a pre-recorded video going to be showing to you and we, we come back at the end and we can answer every single questions you have so if you do have a question as we go through the demo please put a queue in front of your questions so we can really easily identify joy saying hi natalie nice to see you again <laughs> hello Everybody, everybody's saying uh, nine. Uh, everybody's saying hi to you. Um, Judy's saying hi, Kitty, Natalie, everyone. Um, everybody's saying that nice to have you back. Um, or raining in Swindon, Diane is saying raining in Swindon and raining in South Wales as well. So it might be all around the country. 
if you are watching in the UK, well, actually, if you're watching anywhere in the world, then it's sunny. Can you let us know? Because you're all going to head there after the live. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm very quickly pop you to the website because Simon has put a little kit together for us. And just very, very quickly going to show you. You know the drill. When you go to the website, you go into either categories and video tutorials or the video tutorial button. We are having with Leanne, we're going through and revamping this whole category. And like there is a picture missing there. But you soon, you will be able to search our, I want to say, I always say like over 100, but actually I think it's over like 300 tutorials what we have on the website. So you will be able to search it by date. You will be able to search it by kind and you will be able to search it by technique or bead as well. So what the wire work birds and spend and what we're doing today is going to go into wire work, working with wire it will be going to pendants and it will be going into date as well so you'll be able to find it if you've got material at home and you want to play with that one you will be able to find tutorials for that material right so let's pop into today's which is bird nest now it's a couple of wires you need 0 0.8 and 0.4 millimeter wire and what we added in here because like we want, really wanted to use the freshwater pearls for the pendants. Now, you don't really want to buy a whole strand of freshwater pearls and have maybe 10 of the same color necklace with the same color pearls in there. So what we did, we mixed the pearls up. You had get three of each color. You get five colors in there. You get the gorgeous blue, the, the creamy one, the ivory one, the gold one, but Natalie, you got it on the you, later on. You can show it in the uh, do us in real yeah. life, but actually, I think you're showing it in the video as well. Right, without further ado, check it out. Usually $12.99, $8.99 today um, until the stock lasts. And we have got a couple of new wires, so we've got brown and black wire now in 0 0.8 and 4 millimeters. So have a check those ones out because they will give you the brown one even more realistic. Uh, bird nest pendant right i'm coming back to us and then i'm gonna start the video any <laughs> and so you can all um uh, it's so i thought it's gonna be so hard to make it and natalie was like oh no no you just do this and it's done so you will see it's really really easy to do very easy um anything else natalie would you like to say before i start the tutorial no um enjoy it be you know there's there's no rules to this it's exactly how you want to make it you can work directly off the reel or the spool so you can make it as big as you like as small as you like um i tend to use three eggs or three pearls um as long as you, your pearls fit in it can be whatever size you want um and i like to mix match the colors as well um but it's really pretty and i hope you enjoy making it Right, so without further ado, here we go. To make your bird's nest pendant, you're going to need some basic wire tools. So you're going to need a pair of pliers, some round nose pliers, and some wire cutters as well. And we're going to be using two different gauges or thicknesses of wire. We're going to use a 0.8mm which is going to be for the main structure of the bird's nest. And we're also going to use a 0.4 millimeter wire, which is going to be used to weave in and out to add some structure and also to weave throughout your bail at the top. And your bail is the part mm -hmm. where your necklace or your chain goes through. And then you're going to need some beads for the eggs. I'm using these beautiful pearls because they've got a lovely luster on them. Um, and they look quite egg shaped. So to begin, I'm gonna be working directly off the reel. Um, obviously the length of wire you use will determine the size of your pendant or your nest. Um, so sometimes I think it's easier just to work directly off the reel and then you can determine the size as you go. So to begin with, we're gonna measure around five or six centimeters of your 0.8 wire and this is going to be one part of your bale. Now take your round nose pliers and we're just going to make a little loop in the wire. Now the wonderful thing about this pendant is it doesn't have to be too neat. 
um, a lot of your weaving that you'll use will be quite random and that just gives it a nice natural bird's nest look because we want to try and create the look of having twigs um, throughout this nest. So you make a little loop in your wire and we're just going to start twisting that round like a coil and we're just going to keep spiralling the wire that's still attached to your reel in a little circle shape and you don't want that too tight because we've got to weave our 0.4 wire through that a little bit later on so you just keep turning it and you can use your thumb or your finger just to make a little divot in your wire so it's starting to make kind of like a bowl kind of shape there and that's going to be the base of your nest where your eggs sit through and you're just going to keep going round until you're quite happy with the size that you've got and you can start bringing it up slightly so the wire sits on top or above the wire below and if you like if you'd want to make more of a kind of natural look with the wire you can use your pliers just to put little kinks or crimps or zigzags into the wire and this will make it look like twigs and as I say that's the lovely thing about this project you don't need any wire straighteners um, obviously we don't want it to look messy but it doesn't have to be too neat and this is just personal preference you don't have to do this if you don't want to but adding a few kinks into the wire will give it a kind of twig like shape okay so when you're happy with the size that you've got you're going to start bringing this wire slightly through the middle again and bring that down onto the inside of your nest and then you're going to take around the same length as you did on this side because this is going to be the other side of your bale and you can just trim that off and start to feed this length through the hole that you've created at the bottom of your nest like so so this is now the basic structure of your nest it should look something like that Okay, now you're going to take your 0.4 millimeter wire and again, I'm going to work off the reel for this. You're probably going to need quite a lot of length. So I'd say probably about half a meter, 50 to 70 centimeters. So Keep it on your reel because you'll need more to weave off that later. And you're just going to put this through that hole that you've created at the bottom there. And you're going to pull that through like so. And then this is just going to be used to weave in and out at random. just to create a little bit of stability and a little bit of sturdiness to your pendant. So you can go in any direction you want to and you can go back on yourself if you want to. You don't have to go in any particular order and you're just going to weave this wire through your pendant on the 0.8 wire just to give it a little bit of structure and sturdiness. So as you can see, I'm going in and out of those wires and it's really just to kind of 
bind the edges together. So when you do get to the top edges, you're just going to pull that through. And that should start to give it a little bit of stability. And this is going to start to give the impression of twigs. So as I say, it doesn't have to be neat. We're not going for any particular weave or pattern it's just completely random and we just keep going in and out of the wire on the main nest so these are really lovely gifts for easter um, and they're very versatile as well you can turn them into earrings you can make them into rings i'll show you some of the other ones i've done a little bit later on so we're just going to keep going with that until we feel we've got a little bit more rigidity and it's not going to spring open or move too much and so you can change direction you can go back on yourself and don't worry if you put any little kinks in the wire that's that's fine you can do this as many times as you want and obviously to the size in which you want as well this is quite a small pendant but you might want to make a large one um, it's completely personal preference providing you've got enough space to fit your eggs or your beads in the middle Okay, so when you're happy with your nest, we're going to work this wire back through so it comes up the middle section of our nest and then we can start attaching our eggs into the centre. So take your pearls. I'm going to use three. That one's a lovely colour. So choose which ones you're after. And you're just going to thread on your pearl or your bead right to the bottom of this wire that's coming up through the middle. You don't want it dead centre. You want it slightly off so you can fit them all in. And you're just going to weave that wire back through and underneath again, just to hold it in place like so. And then you can do your next one. Push it all the way through, choose where about you want that egg or that bead to sit. And do the same, pulling that one through again. Now if you want, if you've got a lot of your 0.4, you can wrap around the eggs at the bottom to kind of add a little bit more, I don't know, stability, stop them moving around, but 
they're quite firmly held in place so I don't think that's needed on this. So we're weaving in and out the bottom. And back through near the centre. To add our last egg. Now when you're happy with your position of the egg, we're just going to continue to weave in and out to use up the rest of this tail. And you can go again around the edges. And I'm just going to start to go towards the side so we can kind of tie this off so we've got no sharp pieces of wire that will snag on clothes or anything. The way I usually finish it off is by just wrapping it around the same wire a couple of times but you can always poke it back through into the main part of your nest so you should have something that looks like this so you've still got this long tail coming off the back of your reel and you've got two parts of your 0.8 tails that are just sticking up and there's a few different ways you can do your bale you could do one like this where you're just doing a figure of eight weave which means you're wrapping twice over one and pushing that down and then coming over the other side and wrap in twice over that side, continuing to push down. And this figure of eight weave, you can just continue until you get the size of the bale that you want. And that's how I've done this one. Or you can do a very simple and effective bale by just putting your two ends together and wrapping and coiling the wire around making sure you continue to just push that down a little bit to secure it and neaten it up as you go then when you're happy with the size of the bale that you've got you can stop that from slipping by just wrapping it over one of your tail ends a couple of times and then bend your pendant bale down towards the base of your nest like so and then using this tail that you've still not cut yet you're just going to wrap it round your bale to make it nice and secure. And then now you can cut that end off. And continue to just push this through. And that will make sure 
that your bales nice and firm and attached and don't forget when you've got enough and you're happy with that and you're cutting off that little tail make sure that you're tucking that in so it doesn't catch on any clothes Now with these ones, you can either put them back through your nest or you can trim them off as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them fairly short and then using my round nose pliers just to make sure they're not catching on anything. I'm just going to very gently do a little coil to tuck them in on both sides. So you take the tip of your plier and you gently twist so you've got the your pendant and you're done. It's a very quick and easy make and as I say they're very very versatile as well as doing pendants you could also attach little jump rings to make them into earrings, like so. Or you can even make them into rings. As I say, the amount of wire determines the size that you want them at. These ones I've made adjustable. So if you're giving them as gifts, I've just continued to, instead of making the bale, make a long strip and curl the ends. And then you can just shape that around your finger. Like so. And it's as simple as that, but very effective. They make lovely gifts for Easter, as I say. A little bit of spring bling. There we go. How did you like that? I felt like I was a bit of a ventriloquist then. Just I, know, I can, I can see you on your face like, oh, I'm watching myself. Like, you know, I'm like that all the time. <laughs> if I have to watch any of my videos back, I'm like that as well. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's, I don't know. Because when we hear our voices, when you hear your voices inside your head, it sounds different when you hear it back, when you watch yeah. it back on a live or, or a video or, or anything like that. So sometimes yeah. um, sometimes watching things back is like just to make you, I don't know, that, that funny feeling inside. Everybody's saying this was great. Wow, you love it. Brilliant. Um, Ruth is loving it. They're coming in so fast. <laughs> the comments. Um, Kimberly's saying great, amazing tutorial. Thank you. So <clears throat> let us know, like if um, if if you like this, that we made a quick video and played it for you. And obviously we are here live as well. Um, but just to give you a better quality video, so you can really see it, what we what we're making. Because last time, like unfortunately, Natalie's internet is not like wasn't as clear. So. It's, it's not her camera, it's not, because that was the same camera what she used. It's unfortunately internet connection and then in some places they are, they are better and other places are not. And some places you can get really high internet and other ones are not. So we had a few questions coming in while we were, um, you were doing the tutorial. Um, the one... The last one was, is if is this available in the kit? Yes, um, all the details in the description as well. Um, but if you pop onto totallybeats.co.uk, video tutorials, find today's date and they will be with you. Um, there are a couple of gauges of wine in there. There is a 0.8 and a 0.4 and all the lovely freshwater pearl, egg-shaped freshwater pearls and we mix them up so you get all sorts of different colors. And I had a bit of a brain freeze there. So, um, what, what, tell us about like about this make. Which which piece was your favorite, or or when you were making it, did you like to make it smaller, or did you like it make it bigger? How do you like it? Do you want to go down onto my little mat here so you can see? I can. There we go. Okay. So 
for me, this kind of antique bronze fire is just lovely. I think it gives a really nice, like, natural look. Am I in? Can you see that? Okay. Yes. Um. So, personally, I really like this colour. I think in the silver, it looks really delicate. Um, yeah. It is just personal preference. And I always love this pink, um, which I think is really spring and Easter-like. Um, I mean, you can use, you could use any beads. You could use, like, this one was the prototype that I did was um, with gemstones because, you know, I'm obsessed with gemstones. But actually, the pearls are just lovely. As you say, the egg shapes, they've got a lovely sheen and luster to them. Yeah. Um, and I just I just think they're really sweet. Um, so I don't know. It's hard to choose. Um, as I say, with the ring, you literally just making as you would your bail but you're just going to go along for whatever size you feel you're going to need around a finger they are good for gifts because if you don't know somebody's ring size it's yeah. easy enough to do and then you're just curling the edges and bending it round. um with the earrings you don't need to make the bail on them at all um you can just start to spiral it round with your hands Bind it as you would with the 0.4 and then just add a little jump ring to it. Um, and I think they dangle really nice as well. They catch the light with the pearls. So I don't know. Um, I like them all. I'm keeping them all. <laughs> um, I have to say, Charlotte, thank you so much for the stars. It's really, really, really appreciated. Um, Jenny's asking, is this your designs? Sorry, I missed the beginning. So birds nestings, but you have been around quite some time, but this is Natalie's take. Mm -hmm. This is how she adapted it. Um, as Kitty had, had mentioned different things, and I thought, well, could we do something um, bird shaped for Easter and spring? Um, I thought it was an original design. And then apparently when you, you have a little look online, there's loads of them. It's been done before. Um, but yeah. Just kind of working out how, I, how I would do it and how I would make it. I, I, I think like, you know, there is so there's nothing new under the sun. There is so many different things um has been done like already before, but I always say this is unique because this is your take on something like it, it, it can be like you know I, I might made a pendant you made a pendant but I will make it differently how you make it I will coil the wire differently how you coil the wire so this is definitely unique to Natalie because this is her her way of making it's like you know how many ways you can bake a cake I mean there is hundreds of them some people swear by measuring it out by a jug some people or, or, or like a, a mug rather than a jug some people measure it out by weight some people measure it out like you know we got all sorts of different recipes but in the end of the day it's getting a cake so this is natalie's version of a bird nest um, pendant everybody has been loving loving the ring as well i think that what i love about it as well it's very versatile so you can use it for all sorts of different things the black one so oh, this the, dark like the dark metal ones, the black one and the brown one. I think that was quite a nice um, addition to our wires to do all sorts of different bits of pieces with it. Because sometimes when you're making pendants and you, if you are encasing something dark, you want to encase it into a darker wire. They just give completely different looks, I think, as well. Um, and it is just preference. So I've got um, my cousin's daughter. She's very much into you know, kind of more of her darks and then mm. his other daughter's very much into her girly pinks. So I think really nice gifts for them because they're both so very different, um, like like his girls. Um, so yeah, I think um, it, it is really versatile. The wire is lovely. They're really, really easy to work with. Um, and working off the real or the spool means you can kind of just decide on the size that you want as you go. Uh, you don't ever have to worry about running out of wire, yeah. um, especially when you're doing the bail. It's it's much easier, I think, personally, to always continue to work off your reel when you're doing your bail because depending on how intricate you want it and how large you want your bail, um, you know, you could put these on little board chains. You could even make a beaded necklace. Um, in fact, the anniversary bundle if anyone got them i'm sure you could make a lovely chain using them um 
so yeah they're, they're all very different it's really versatile um, and really simple to do Sheila is saying you could also make it into a brooch I have to say thank you for Emma Vine mm -hmm. as well sending us some stars thank you so much really appreciate it now Mina is asking what size the pearls the pearls are six seven millimeter but because they're freshwater pearls they're like some of them will be slightly a little bit bigger and some of them will be a smaller and that's why they're perfect for this project because they're freshwater pearls so that they, they they're not like a uniform they're not exactly the same every single one of them like eggs in a basket they're not all the same they're not exactly the same kitty did you do that on purpose <laughs> exactly <Maybe. laughs> um she was um, asking are yeah. the instructions with the kids so the video is your instructions lovely um because we are organizing the website you can go back and rewatch it again and again you can um, always message me if you've got any questions as well Happy oh, to bless you. Um, Dorothy is asking, are the wire always on reels on me? How did you control it? Um, do you know, on these spools, they, they can do. Um, it doesn't really matter because you don't need to keep them particularly neat. If there's natural kinks in the wire, then that, that just helps, I think, to the natural look. What you can always do is just keep the length that you need and there's little grooves um that you can just pop it through and then that'll stop it slipping i got a um, very very expensive gadget here and actually christopher took it so i can't can't show it to you so what i do with my wire i basically use an elastic band all oh, right okay <laughs> <laughs> you can buy bobbins and things like that yeah. but actually i think given the groove on yeah, this you can put on the reel the that you, you get it stops it moving I, I for me. I just put like an elastic band over it and that just holds it into shape. That's and, a good you know, idea. You know, said elastic band on spool, yes. They're, they're just on the top of it so it doesn't, when I'm working with it, it doesn't un uncome and it doesn't go anywhere, everywhere. And especially, like, you know, when I do my wire um, French beaded flowers and you have to put so much seed bead on the wire, so your wire, you, you put it back on a spool and becomes really fat. <laughs> so de definitely you need um elastic band or or something or, or usually i use a hair band <laughs> whichever is the nearest just to hold them onto it a lot of people saying they're using elastic bands as well so That's i, I love i've this. not heard that i'm going to use from now on yeah <laughs> no, no only the little bit whatever you have around you you can basically use Hair scrunches, yes the, there you go the, the, the Ruth saying they work as well anything Oh, Jenny's saying she loves them too. I, I, I really love this and I, I love the concept of doing something from nature and like making into replicate into a little jewelry. I think they're really pretty and, and like, you know, what you're making here is little components and you can use it in so many different ways. As you said, Natalie showed us black pendants, earrings, rings and all sort of things. So what are what other things um, are you working on at the moment? Um, well, don't want to divulge too much information because we've got some lovely Totally Deeds projects coming up. Um, and one, yeah, definitely one won't involve my usual gemstones. <laughs> I've got gorgeous crystals instead. Um, so yeah, there will be, um, rings, there may be earrings, there may be wire wrap pendants coming. Um, personally, I'm, and I'm making all sorts. I've not been as busy making this week. I've had a busy week. Um, my son turned three on Thursday, so um, I promised I would give him my undivided attention and put my wire work down. Um, yeah, so I've not been making too much this week, um, but yeah, I've, I know I'm going to be making something this evening. I'll get itchy fingers otherwise. Oh, bless you. I'm exactly the same. Well, a very happy birthday for Frank. Um, I've I, I seen some pictures that he had a really nice day. and um, He was a busy boy. He was spoilt rotten. We were very lucky. Obviously, we, we can't go anywhere. We can't really see anybody. Um, luckily, he's obsessed with gadgets, so he's very happy to have phone calls with people and video conversations. Um, but he's starting nursery soon, so we went on a trial day to nursery with him. Um, which he loved because he's he's very sociable. Um, I was a bit emotional, but 
I don't know. It's so I, I think sometimes when you like the first time when you leave your children at nursery school or school, it's not even them. It's you at the gate, like oh, it's like slobbery and like tears coming down. It's yeah. like oh, like like you don't. He need wasn't any. sure if he wanted to go in at first, and yeah. then his teacher said, "Well, we've got toast," and he was like, "Bye, mom," and he was straight through the door. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like that they're gone, and you're standing like, well, okay, then I, I better go on with my day now. I better go now. I only left them for two hours. I was a mess. <laughs> yeah, and and then they grow up, then a bit bigger. Like my Lucy was fourteen. It's like I don't want to be seen with you, Mum. Can you drop me off around the block? <laughs> <laughs> Lonely saying happy birthday uh, to your son as well. Thank you. Why right, so? Uh, that's it really if anybody else has any questions just please, please pop it in and then um, I'll, I'll be all, usually pop back and answer it in the video um if you anything else you would like to know um oh diana had a question what chin would you use with the black or brown wire i personally would use probably a, a black cord with the black pendant um you can you can get kind of copper colored chains um, you could use ribbon, you could make a beaded necklace for it. There's there's lots of different, you know, possibilities. The possibilities are endless. Um, I say I'm gonna have a little look in my anniversary bundle and see um if I could I might pick more. i I got the almost or just blue one, was it called? Um so I'd probably yeah, hint of blue. So I'm going to pick out more of the kind of pearls with the, the blue sheen to them um, and make something um, for one of them to go on. I think um, I, I would I would kind I would do something like um, a herringbone chain with size 11 seed beads. That would look really good because that sort of gives a natural mm -hmm. look and, and like a beaded chain look like quite tight, tightly woven. Or you could do like a beaded chain with hat pins. And, and have similar beads on there. You could just, you could do a little bit of a chain mail if you wanted to. There is so many different things that you could do with it. I probably would go towards like a beaded chain, like herringbone chain, because just because like I love herringbone chain, I can just sit there and do it. Um, but then you just can have a little chain as well. But then just because it's a black pendant, that doesn't mean you can't put it on a silver or rhodium color, um, a chain, um, sort of chain chain as well. Right, my lovelies, well, thank you so much for watching us today. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to have to beg Natalie to come back <laughs> very soon and show us something else. We get, we have got, we have got uh, things in uh, in motion. I sent her like a, a little parcel of all sorts of little goodies. It's like, like, what can you come up with this? What can you do with this? And she has sent me some pictures, which uh, look really, really good. Um, so um kieran is asking sorry i missed the make can i see the place make so once we finish you can go back and watch it from the beginning you must watch it kieran because today was a really really good one and you won't be disappointed natalie was so good uh, making a little bird nest abandoned for us yes come back and <laughs> they say already thank you so much nice yeah. to see you natalie right everybody have a lovely sunday it's it's a bit more overcast now where i am so they definitely won't be going on a walk but um it's a perfect day to stay in and do some beading perhaps for everybody so have a lovely sunday i will be so sarah Millerstock will be with you tomorrow and i will be with you tuesday at 10 a.m everybody have a lovely sunday enjoy the rest of your day keep safe keep on beading bye everybody bye